This is a video of my 25 km trail run at the beautiful and ancient town at the foothills of Jebel Akhtar called Birgit Al Moz in Oman. With architectures dating back thousands of years, it was one of the most exciting experiences of sport and heritage. This is the Himam Trail Run. Assalamu alaikum. Good, good. good. How are you? Good, good. good. 25, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, can I see the Yes. So, this is yours. You can bring one friend. Okay. Allowed to come here and come here. Yeah. And it's your turn. We have all this stuff inside. Plus the t-shirt and your bed number. All right. Okay. And you have to come back one hour before the race. Yeah, okay. This is the bit that you just received. Then a bit number, an access card. Chocolate? No. <laughs> peanut butter, dates bar. Okay, peanut butter, dates bar, and chocolate sesame dates bar. What is this? Uh, this is to, for the protection. Uh, next. Ah, okay, okay. Next car. Okay. Perfect. That's it. signed up for the 25 kilometer uh, high mum trail race and uh, I look a bit tired right now because uh, I just came back this afternoon after camping at the desert last night and uh, I got some sleep I got s like a couple of hours of sleep after coming back so little bit refreshed uh, but the race is in the morning tomorrow so I'm just getting ready, uh, packing up my stuff. I've not run uh, a trail run uh, of this distance before. The maximum I've run on the trails is about 11 or so. But I've done a few half marathons. So I think I'm confident to complete, uh, uh, complete the race or the route. Uh, I'm just going to show you uh, the things that I'm going to carry. There are some mandatory things which the organizers have told us to bring along with us. And I'm carrying a few extra as well, just uh, to be on the safe side. These are the things that I'm going to be carrying tomorrow. Uh, as I told you, there are, there are some mandatory stuff that we'll have to carry. Of which, this is a trail running shoe. Uh, this is from Zero Shoes. It has got those lugs very lightweight so i think this will be a good one and this is the bib that i have received and uh, it's mandatory for us to carry some water one liter of water so i have a bladder here and i'll be taking a hydration pack the bladder goes in there this is not mandatory but i just have a uh, you know headband uh, just to absorb the sweat this is a saharan cap it's one of the mandatory things that we need to carry just gives a bit of protection uh, from the sun and then uh, this is a t-shirt that they have given us but i don't think i'll be using this tomorrow and this is a scarf and i don't think i'll be using that either because I already have the Saharan cap and uh, here are some uh, gels so I'll be carrying a couple of uh, energy bars and then the race organizers have given us these uh, dates bar 
so that should come in handy and then I'll be carrying five energy gels um, assuming that I'll complete the race in uh, four hours or four and a half hours I'll be needing probably one of these uh, every hour I'm just carrying an extra uh, for safety uh, and then I also have salt pills I'm not sure how hot it is going to be outside in case I'm going to sweat a lot uh, these salt pills will come in handy so these are the things that I'm going to be carrying for the race tomorrow and um, I, th I think I'll have a, a good sleep tonight I'll have to uh, leave Muscat at 4 in the morning 4, 4.15 or so and uh, I'll be picking up my friend and uh, we'll have to drive about an hour and a half uh, to the start point which is close to Nizwa in a place called uh, Birkat Al Maus um, so we'll need about an hour and a half to drive there so we are aiming to reach there at, uh, at around 6 o'clock and the race starts at 7 so uh, I believe we'll also have to collect the timing the race timing chip uh, and then uh, you know prepare warm up and get ready for the for the race so see you tomorrow hi good morning so we are here at the himam race we reached at uh, 5:45 and we collected our timing chip We started the race from Beit ar rudaida castle in Birkat al Maus and circled through the old town and then headed towards Tawi Sada which was the first aid station after 8 kilometers. And then we passed through the valleys to the second aid station Al Muedin after another 8 kilometers. We then circled back through Al Muedin and Tawi Sada and headed back to the finish line at Birkat Al Maus. Okay, let's use up our time. We have 45 nationalities here. Munta, go over the rundown. Are you guys ready? Come on, guys. I love the energy.
reaching the first checkpoint TV Sada at the 8 km mark Salam alaikum Just past the 8th station one, Trivisada. I was here for a couple of minutes. Next 8th station in another 8 kilometers. So now it's going to be a hill climb of 210 meters. I'm done with 13 and a half kilometers. Hi, Dwane. I guess they are all the 100 kilometer runners coming back. They started the race yesterday evening around 4 at 4 p.m. and they have a cutoff time of 36 hours. So they have been running all night. I guess that should be my next aim. I mean, of course, not the 100 kilometers. I guess once I complete the 25, I mean the 28, I'll be aiming for the marathon. Salam alaikum. And then hopefully. And then hopefully the 55 kilometers ultra marathon. So this is a test for me. I hope I do it. Good going, bye bye. bye. Let's reach the second aid station. Just came past the second aid station. I think close to 15 kilometers. About 13 kilometers to go. The terrain is starting to get a little bit technical, not too much.
25. Yes. So, this is the return point. I got this. We'll have to hand this over at the finish line. Good morning. <laughs> need help. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. I thought I just twisted my ankle just a bit. Just slightly. But it's okay. Not too bad. I think I'll be able to make it. Back to the aid station where we just passed. Morning. I'll just have some water and continue. Just past the aid station. Keep going. I didn't stop to eat anything. It was too early. I just splashed water on my face and drank some water. By the way, the sun is going to be right on my face all the way through for the next 12 kilometers. So, an update. So, the strap for the Saharan cap just broke and it was just flying around so I had to remove it and, and keep it in the bag now I have to run close to 12 kilometers with the sun facing me without the without the Saharan cap. Come on, come on Sandesh, go, go! <laughs> I just passed my fellow runner, Sandesh. He looked good. He was running, so that's a good sign. It's his first time running, let alone 25 kilometers in the trail anywhere he has probably run a four to five kilometer run on the road and jumped onto 25 kilometer trail good morning directly so and 27 minutes close to 7 or 8 kilometers to go update so just after the 20 kilometers mark I just tripped on a tripped on a stone and uh, cramped my left calf <laughs> so I guess it's too hot. I drank some water. Feeling good again. <laughs> so, I guess it's time to move. another situation update so this time I managed to cramp my right quad muscles it 
it's painting I guess the sun and the humidity is taking a toll I just have to push through the last maybe 6 or 7 kilometers 21.3 kilometers done so let's do it just approaching the final aid station at TV Sada I guess this is 22.2 kilometers another 4 kilometers to go just past the last aid station at 22 kilometers and uh, they told me that it's 4 more kilometers to go done with 24 kilometers uh, in 3 hours and 4 minutes I still have 2 more kilometers to go pushing myself 25 kilometers done just 1 kilometer to the finish line getting stronger <laughs> it's 3 hours and 14 minutes done the last kilometer thank you yeah yeah come on yeah <laughs> selfie with a selfie coming in well done well done beautiful finish beautiful finish Ahi Ibrahim had the soul with the Ali and the Tisama. from India. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just cramping up my legs. Uh, here, here. Make it loose. And and this. <coughs> then you can go inside to okay. find water and food. Okay. Okay. okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough final four kilometers. <laughs> I was cramping up like anything I had to literally limp my way around walk limp walk limp but I finally made it oh it's not easy <laughs> Okay. I need to stop my watch. I forgot to stop my watch. Originally, I had a target of uh, to cover the distance in 4 hours with a pace of 8 hours and 50 minutes per kilometer. So, I managed to complete this race in 3 hours and 26 minutes a distance of 26.1 kilometers yes come on come on sandesh well done champ you have reached safe and sound to the finish line on hidden race This race has been one to remember for a long time. It opened up my perspective towards trail running. It's been one of the best experiences in Oman and the organizers of Himam 
have done an incredible job to arrange such an event. Shout out to Sandesh who managed to complete despite being his first ever long run. How was the run? Uh, it was very great. <laughs> How did so you feel? First experience. Running, <laughs> first experience. How did you feel completing it? Yeah, very very happy with myself. Very good. Congrats, congrats. Thank you. I hope he continues to run more. Thank you for watching and until the next one, happy trails.